All right. Let me get the uh, YouTube. I'll open, I'll do sacred space while you're doing that. So. No excuse to play my instrument. So, so it's that one. So we start again. <laughs> My camera decided it didn't want the music. <laughs> Sorry about that. Victoria's trying to go in. Dad, by the way. She's trying to get into yeah. the room. Just needs to admit. I'll do it. Okay. Sorry about this. There you go. Done it. <sighs> How are you? Is everyone okay? I'm just having some cacao, by the way. I was making some, that's why I was a little late. So. Someone's already jumped on the YouTube. Hmm? How? Someone's on YouTube. <laughs> Teresa Levine. Hmm? I recorded it, but I didn't stick it on YouTube. I did. I did. All right. Why is it? Let me... Okay. Well, I, I tried to enter the link here, but it's, it's not letting me. All right. Well, got it. All right. Maybe that'll let me. All right, go YouTube. All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us today. We are um, we're doing channeling and heal and or healing today. Um, the fifteen minutes is uh, for a donation of twenty two dollars and twenty two cents, or it's a five minute healing or channeling. Um, your choice. Um, it could be both, uh, depending on what, who, or what comes through. And I have given everything to Margaret, who is going to do the admin work for us today. And I thank you so much, Margaret. Um, Lily is on holiday right now. So there she's away with her husband. Um, Bill, did you send your information to Margaret? So, uh, I said it on here, but, uh, okay. Uh... Okay, I sent a private messenger to her. So um, for those of us who don't know who we are, uh, we're, uh, the three of us are from HealTeachLove.org. 
Uh, my husband, Rick, and myself uh, became healers when a, an event happened to my husband when he was lying in bed. The white light came to him and uh, healed him of all his, uh, his uh, illnesses at that time. And uh, at that, after that, I started getting down. Or diseases, and um, as long as they weren't under contract, or we and we also started uh, were able to tell them their past lives. <laughs> um, we can also tell if people are lying to us uh, or deceiving. Um, we can tell you your angels, your guides, and uh, we met Philip a few years after that and started working with him, and he will tell you his story. Um, Phil. That's right. a brief, brief, very brief of what happened. I don't want to drag don't, this out. Don't you want to do 15 minutes? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm a walking from birth. Uh, I started dealing at four-year-old. Uh, my journey over the, every week it changes. It's, it's, it's amazing. This year has been quite amazing, actually. Uh, I've done a lot more remote viewing. And uh, though... Uh, life is trying to get me to overwork on the 3d work i can still fit spiritual work you should always fit that in so it's been really great uh everything's possible every healing is possible you've just got to well one of the reasons you got to believe in yourself as well believe it's possible and it helps but everything is possible um i will do cards but i'll do them rapid because i don't want to fit too much time so i'll do them for you and i'll just tell them you so, uh, who's first, uh, Margaret or Deb? Margaret is first. That mm -hmm. way she can take care of this. Um, I had another payment, so let me see who it is. I have sent the message through this chat to, to Margaret, so hopefully you've got it. it but I can say Diane's paid. paid really. Yeah. Okay. okay, yes, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Joan. Joan Goffstein sent a payment, so. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so she'll be joining us as well. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Let's do Margaret. You're very emotional today. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> it's an, a good emotional. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay. Glad. <laughs> because it's really, I mean, are you sending me all this love? Well, that's just who I am. <laughs> yes, that's just what I do. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really needed this today. Honest You're about, welcome. I did. Wow, that's really strong. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Archangel Michael just said, you have a really, really powerful gift, and I felt it. You uh, have uh, such a strong, loving heart. Yes. And for animals, most especially for animals. Yes, this is true. <laughs> you in past lives, did I tell you this before that in past lives you were a Native American? No, that's a new one to me. I'm seeing you with um, what I'm seeing two past lives, one in in like an Africa type environment with jungle in the jungle and you actually were almost like I make me tougher. <laughs> That's um, okay. You were with um, lions and, and jaguars and 
um, apes of all sizes. And it was almost like you were like a Tarzan, but only a female. And they, they were so tame around you. You had, I mean, all the birds, everything you, you could talk to them. They could, they would talk to you. It was amazing. It was like paradise. You, you, you were part of it, a part of that, and they were part of you. It was like a Garden of Eden type thing, but it wasn't the Garden of Eden. This was just who you are. You were, you grew up in this environment. Your skin was very dark. Mm -hmm. um, you were just native garbage of just, uh, you were female then. Mm -hmm. This, you could walk anywhere in the jungle and nothing would harm you. So this is just how you are with animals. You are they're very attracted to you. You're very attracted to them. Yes. Now, that's interesting. I have a statue of that uh, timeline. Uh, I'll have to show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. in, in, when you were a Native American, it's the same thing. You could heal. You could, and you were attracted to. I mean, there were times where horses would be wild and buck other people. You could walk up to that horse and it would let you get on the horse. You could put your face to the horse. It would not be rear up. It would not harm you. The same thing with a bull. The same thing with, um, I mean, all these animals. That, and and the, um, the chief would, would say that you, you were from the heavens. They called you something. Can, can, can I say something, Deb? I'm yeah. picking up Swasquatch or Bigfoot. Yeah. I'm actually picking that up. I've been seeing it a few times. I'm being told by the by the guides. You were, I think you were, but they, they're not like what you get. What people say they are. You, you were very naturist. Is that the same being? No. Is <laughs> it a different one? Okay. Yeah. Totally different being, but yes. Hmm. Have that you ever been told? I've, yeah. That doesn't surprise me either. She's had many lifetimes, but that <laughs> one doesn't surprise me. Mm. Very similar lifetime, uh, similar personality, same, same vibration. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That does not surprise me. The cards I'm picking, you've got divine guidance. You, you very, in, you. You get messages and you can pick them up. So yeah, yeah, quite easily. I've been getting downloads lately. I get downloads all the time. <laughs> yeah, they're um, they're increasing your um gifts. So, yeah, like, I've noticed that. Yes, crazy. <laughs> you you still got a bit of forgiveness. You still got. Oh, forgiveness. I'm working on that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you need a miracle on that, just ask source, just ask the universe to guide you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Michael just says, just go with it. Just go with it. Don't, don't yeah. hesitate. Just don't go. question it. Just go. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah. 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 Is there any message on what I can do to help my uh, one cat, Roxy? She uh, has been traumatized by a previous owner. Is she there? She's not here. She's hiding from me at the moment. Give her time. Yeah. I was going to suggest, shall we do some healing on her? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Have you got a photo or... In fact, you're you're quite linked to her. We, we might be able to do it for you. Yeah. yeah, I've got a photo of her. Yeah. Let's see here. All right, the she used to be called Piper, but uh, this is.
you may see a difference within a day or two. Yeah, okay. She, she, she's missing uh, a mother. Well, uh, I I actually own her mother, so. <laughs> Is the mother there? Her mother's there, yes. Why am I getting that message? Well, she was with somebody else for about a month, but uh, she just didn't get along with them whatsoever. Because she missed her mother. Because <laughs> she missed her mother. That's where so the, that, that's where she the ended up well. back with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the trauma just doesn't disappear when she comes back. It's like yeah. a, an energy field that you just got to work on. But some of it, she should be better now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Yeah. I'll just be patient with her. <laughs> right. Do you Do you need any healing, by the way? Ah, uh, yes. I in the back. back of my head. Back. Yeah, I was getting that. <laughs> <laughs> The back of the head is where you where you get your intuition, your psychic stuff comes through. I wonder if it's li linked to that. It uh, probably is. It yeah. wouldn't surprise me any. Have you had that a long time, or have you yeah. had that? Yeah, I'm getting. I'm seeing you. I think you got hung as a witch, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a compliment. I, I always. Yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Should have done the witchcraft more. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop from doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel the energy around it? Oh, yeah. I definitely feel it. How's your neck? Is that gone? How to care? Yeah. Yep. That uh, forgiveness, that's part of it. That's forgive a past life, that one. Yeah. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. A lot of it has been healed, but you, you might have to do a bit more work on that, I think. You've got to do okay. the work. You've got to do all the work on it. Well, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Any, any, fun. anything else, Deb? I don't, I don't, I can't. I didn't feel any plants implants out like that. No. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Well, George is next. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. I didn't really have any um, idea of why I was coming on today, but when I joined the call, I had like all this kind of like gooey sensation around my sacral. Ah, emotion. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why, but yeah. yeah. Okay. 
got something on up above his um you know that black like butterfly looking implant mm -hmm. in the middle of his back I'll just close your eyes and uh, let us know if you can feel it. Yeah, it just feels really gooey. I don't know how else to describe it. It feels really strange. Your sacro is to do with uh, the emotions, isn't it? So. Mm. See another one on his right elbow, just to just lay it like right here. How, how do you feel uh, now? How yeah, that it grow? feels like it feels like it clears. Yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah, a lot more relaxed. Yeah, that's good. Uh, one of your cards, by the way. 
uh, is healing. But it's, this card basically means if you ever focus on anything, it blocks the healing. So just let the healing get work. Uh, uh, you also feel like you like in a prison, but I think we all feel that at the moment. <laughs> but you can man, you can get yourself out of that by manifestation, yeah. and you can. You got a soulmate. Now you can bring one in if you want to. It's got the same ideals, ideology as you. Mm. So. I don't know if you want any cards reading. I've done them now. <laughs> no, thanks. No, that's great. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you have anything in the last few years? I can't say it on here because I'm on YouTube. But you, you understand what I mean. Oh, the ding a ling a ding dong. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I had it a few years ago, but I like intentionally yeah. like released it. I'm not sure it's like fully released, but yeah. I, I can do that. It's not a problem. I can bring back your yes, bloodline to, to your original blueprint if you want. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, we got the message to ask you that. I don't like saying it on YouTube, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. They don't like us saying it either. What? I know. <laughs> your blueprints in your 11th chakra. Uh, what, what I've got to do is I've got to connect to the Akashic records in your 11th chakra with my crystal source being Evra. And we just bring in the blueprint and then put it through you. So you'll feel it's like a roller coaster. Can you feel that? Yeah, it feels like, I don't know, I'm still, but I feel like there's things moving. <laughs> yeah. Feel like it's, it's something being released from your head, like a pressure. Mm. Right, how do you feel now? Is that good? Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I was still, but I could feel like all these things moving, like things <laughs> around me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I think right Michael now. wants to know before that you you did that. Did you um have a moment of hesitation before you did that a few years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah big time. Yeah, but it happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you know you were angelic? I am. You are. Um, I don't know really. <laughs> um. I know I'm like, you know, source frequency. Like, I'm not sure like my full background, but I know that, you know, I'm definitely of the light. <laughs> you are of the That's light. Sure. Yeah. You're an <laughs> actually an angelic being. You um you asked to incarnate in this life to get it to have a human experience. I definitely feel that. Yeah. I, I do think you need to ground a bit more. That's why I had to use this uh ground. This is the, it's not the root chakra at your ground with, it's the one below your feet, which is tiger's, uh, is it tiger, tiger's bar. Yeah, and that's why. I've I, got I, tiger's I, eye on. Yeah. Like but the, this, is, this is like, people always think that the grounding is your root chakra, but it's the one below your feet. And you've got to connect. And this is the crystal 
that you actually use to ground yourself. Yeah. So it's just Is that the F star? Yeah, that's that's what yeah. I always think it's the second chakra, but it's the chakra below your feet. But Earth, a lot of people say Earth star, but it's loads of names for it. So, yeah, but uh, that's the best one. I've also been told, it, uh, I I have these two, and I think uh, yeah, Deb has one of them. I have Moringa, which uh, detoxes you, and is very good. I also have nicotine, and I don't smoke nicotine, but it's it's like the plant medicine nicotine. So I'd look at just just research on them because that'll help you uh, to 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 connect more. If you get what I mean. And lion's yeah. mane, they're the three. They're the three ones I'd recommend: lion's mane, moringa, and nicotine. So you could even have, but it's got to be pure. It can't be. Uh, he uses hmm? the. She doesn't use um, tobacco. Uh, By the way, uh, people. Uh, chemically poisoned. <laughs> tobacco yeah. is poisoned it is chemically poisoned even the native american yeah they're better it depends that you gotta get pure plant leaf aren't you and it's not many you try and get all of them is near nothing possible well, you, over here you can't if you put a filter on it then you've got toxins right there yeah so that's the problem <laughs> mm. put it in a pipe <laughs> addiction as well the addiction is the chemicals yeah but I've noticed a change since I, since I've started all these. There's also grounding mats you can use, and, and I you know we sleep on one, and then and I for for the first time I had lucid gr dreams that I remember. <laughs> but um, yes, George, you are very much an angel. Archangel Michael said you did ask to incarnate here, and uh, when you uh, now that you've uh, been cleaned up so to speak uh you'll start getting some uh you'll start uh things are going to start happening so trust what happens yeah trust. i've been feeling like i'm on the edge of a cliff and i feel like there's a moment that's going to come and i'm going to have to jump i'm going to jump <laughs> like uh, because i've done it so many times it's before. going to be good it's going to be really good Thanks. So yeah, that's just bonus confirmation. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, I I was getting a past life uh, in the seventeen hundreds. You were like a ship merchant. It was big, mm. When I'm old, it was fascinating watching it. So, but I, I don't know much about it. I just got you were on a sh you were doing a lot of ship work near enough all your life. Yeah, yeah. it's not saying it's to... your only life as a human. So you yeah. are. <laughs> Obviously had yeah. another life, but this is another time you volunteered to come here during this wonderful time. Well, what were you going to say then, George? I used to be in the Navy. So it's interesting that you said that. <laughs> there you, go. Navy. Yeah. Uh, you must love the sea. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I've had enough of it. <laughs> I was yeah, I was just wondering. I wonder if you were on a sea planet, on a water planet, um, and you were missing home. Sounds like it. But then again, mm. uh, you, you probably, if you've had enough of it, then you might not go. You might not do that job again. <laughs> in the yeah, sea. yeah, I do like I do like being underwater. It's very peaceful. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next. Next up is Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Hello. We'll wait, wait, see if she finds out. You're on, are you on mute? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Unmute. Mute. I don't know if we can do it. Can we do that? I'm trying. I can ask to unmute, but that's about it. 
Yeah, it's, I think it's at your end. Hmm. All it says is I can ask to unmute. Did she try hitting the uh, microphone button to unmute herself? She's done this many times. She knows what to do. Yeah, I just, she's I... just having problems with the computer. Okay. She fries computers with her power. Yeah. This is nothing new with us. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do the connect to audio before you um, signed into the room? Is that five minutes gone already? <laughs> <laughs> Scan dad for me or anything to scan space. Three Chinese black words appeared. Is it a, a curse for dreams of people stealing money from me? Is that related to the spells? Five seeing totem fox spirit. Watching YouTube video at Kyoto and, and uh, I bilocated there and met with fox guardians and they show up at my house captured in camera as well it showed muted still i can't hear you she can't hear us you can't hear us but she's not going to reply <laughs> oh, you, can hear, you, can hear, you can hear us okay all right okay scan her father okay i think she sent a picture Have her dad's photo in What's, What's up in it? Your father's still having trouble breathing? Your father, your father's still having trouble breathing? Yes or no? Respiratory. Mm. I feel like. It's a smoker's respiratory. Mm. He's got a lot of mucus. Is he coughing? <laughs> Is he coughing? Yelling a Victoria, is he coughing a lot? Well, I could feel a lot of in his chest. I don't know if I'm just feeling it while he's laying down at night, at night. He has emphysema. He has emphysema. He's at the beginnings of emphysema from smoking. Mm. Yeah, he's going to be on oxygen soon. He smokes way too much. 
I'm I'm getting that there. You are. Yeah, we can't really heal that. It's no. choice. It's a choice, isn't it? Hmm. I actually agree with you, Victoria. I think your dream could be true. Really could be. I don't want to say it. I really don't want to say it. But yeah, it, I think he could. He needs to hospital. Yeah. <sighs> Just try and do your best. Try and heal him yourself and try and give him detox if you can try and get him off the cigarettes okay. yeah try and do some manifestation yeah you've got you've, you've you're very powerful you could help you can manipulate this a little bit but he, he needs to detox your dad. Hmm. Try and help him. You can I, try and help him that, but you're going to have to do it from, you know, from your room, try and help him. But, you know, he won't let you help him, but you'll have to try and do it yourself. Hmm. Um, she wants to know about the Chinese black words appeared. Is it a curse? I think they're just playing with you, the dark it beings. Is, I agree. Yeah. I agree. They're just, just they're just trying to taunt you. They're trying to, to you know, they can't get into your house. I told you they're just playing games with you because they can't get in. They're they're trying to taunt you. Ignore it. Oh, your cards, by the way, you could, you, Archangel Michael says he's behind you, so he's, he can help you, and I think you were changing to a different study and you've not done it, so spiritual study, connect with nature, yeah, okay, so find, find something new spiritually, I've been told to help him, you could use frequency, by the way. Yeah, frequency of doubt. So. Hmm. But he's got to get off his, uh, he's got to reduce his cigarettes. I said, he doesn't have to stop. Stopping will be shock to the system because we all have parasites in us and they're used to them. You change the vibration of your body and it can make it worse. So you've got to do it subtly. Yeah. One of those, your videos, playing them in the house would help. Yeah. Moringa would help because it'll give him more breath. It's, it, 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 what it, Moringa, what it does is it, it gives you more breath and it uh, balances your blood. So it might, it might be worth giving him some supplements of Moringa. Yeah. So. I'll send that to her. Mm. I've given him healing anyway. Well, but no. Okay. Yeah, what Moringa does, it's it uh, makes the blood more balanced. Yeah which means oxygen circulates more, so you have more breath. You feel like you've got more breath, so that would probably help him with the smoking, but I'd try and reduce it a bit. Yeah. All right. Ooh. We saw him in a dream going into a heart attack and a stroke. Hmm. If... That's like a warning in my book. That's not a future. That's a warning. He's, That's got, a to warning. Change. He's got to change. 
supplements and try and get off the cigarettes a bit. We can't force your father to do anything. He has to, you know, he has to change himself. We, you know, you can't force him. I can't force him. He has mm. to want us to change. The other thing is heart attacks and strokes tend to be to do with the blood. And if you if you get if you can get moringa, moringa helps the blood. So try and get detox medicine, you know, herbal medicines to sort that out. Yeah, that cosmic cube, that's what I mean. I know you had similar cards about three years ago, so I think you've gone into it and then you're going out. Just get got to get into it more. And it, it might help. It might help help the healing. The spirit animals I had been connecting with that are tied to temples, are they my guides and guards or related to that group? Protectors. Spiritual protectors, I'm going. Cause lightning, thunder, and earthquakes just by anchoring energy, anchoring in energies. It seems my aspects are doing things, or am I the cause because I'm channeling energies? I was going to say, Deb, I've got a few places you could do that to. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> You just got to anchor them energies slowly. If you if you anchor in too fast, it can do that. Or you don't have to anchor. You could use them energies. You could actually use that for it. You could use that to heal earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're fine, Victoria. The the thunderstorms and the earthquakes that you can create by your energy is actually healing earth. It's actually doing a job. So it's not a bad thing. It's just that uh, earth's got that much negativity in it that it's got an, it needs clearing, and the earthquakes is clearing. You're fine. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Can't leave it uncleanse the earth, can we? If we want to drive uh, Earth's energy to act to an higher vibration, it's got to be done. Yeah. Okay, Diane is next. Thanks, Victoria. Hiya. Nice to see Hiya. everyone again. Hello. Hi, I'm just looking for... A healing maybe tonight, a scan and a healing. I haven't been for a wee while. Mm. 
been having headaches. Yeah, yeah, a lot about headaches. Brought me right here. Yeah, do you have other upset stomach? Uh, like yeah, pain. yeah, now and again I do. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just picking that up. Are these headaches actually like feel like something's pulling it behind your eyes? Um, yeah, they they can do. I haven't I haven't had them for a wee while though, but but they do feel a bit a bit kind of around my eyes, sort of migraine type. Um, but I've I've not had them for a wee while. What about the back of your neck? I'm sitting, I'm getting these symptoms. All of a sudden, I'm getting you're yeah. giving me the pain yeah. that you're getting. Yeah, I do, do get it in the back of my neck, and I have had that, you know, kind of recently. Do you uh, do you get messages? Um, yeah, I think I do. I'm just not a hundred percent sure that that's yeah, that yeah, that that hundred percent sure is probably creating the headache and the neck. If a spirit is trying to give you a message and it's yeah. not quite getting through, but partly it can cause the headaches and the neck pain. It's coming through your neck, your back of your head, yeah? Yeah. That's and it, it can create it. So you've just got to, because this is, you're listening to them. You are listening to them, but you're dismissing them too much. And that's yeah. why the headache, that's why you get, you'd get an headache and back ache, and neck ache. Right, yeah. that they're makes trying, sense. they're trying to give you, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to let them in, but oh my goodness, not trusting, not a oh, trust. no. don't think for me. Uh, bad, bad uh -huh. brain, brain gets in the way sometimes. Yeah, you talk yourself out of it, saying, "Oh, that's that's not for me." Yeah, <laughs> it is. I do, yeah. <laughs> Once you start trusting it, the messages will start coming through like crazy because they really want to talk to you. Okay. And what you've got, these other two cards, what you've got to realize is you are awesome. You are an awesome being, being of light. You've got to remember that and tell yourself that. Connect yeah. with your inner child as well. Start okay. playing with your inner child. And then I think your listening will be, uh, you, you know, let's overthink the situation. Ah, oh, good. I'll do that. Thank you. Now we've got to clear all the, the junk there because it got all clogged up. There's all this traffic jam. <laughs> really, truly, you've got a traffic jam. <laughs> what you can do is you can manifest a on and off button. Uh -huh. Yeah. So at the moment, it's on all the time, but you're dismissing it a lot. If you have an on and off button at a certain time, then you can get the messages and believe in them. But then any other time, it's off and you don't get the messages. Because once you are open to all the messages, the queue gets very, very long. Uh, okay. You need, an on a, you need an on and off button. Yeah. <laughs> but, but believe in the messages. Okay, thank you. Do you feel energies? Can you feel energies? Or can you? do you know when something's around you? Yes, I do. I can feel energies. When you feel the energies, that's usually when they're talking to you. And that's that's when you're not trusting the messages. Yeah. Um, and your guides, you're you're used to their energies. So that's when you're getting the traffic jams. Right. So when you hear that message say, what is it? What is it? Or, or who who's talking to you? Instead of saying who you want to say, what is it? Uh, that's talking to me um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and that way you can identify whose energy it is and they, they should the first it, first person or first thing that answers you 
going to give you their name. Okay. Uh huh. And that's who's going to identify themselves, whether it's your guide. Do you know your guides' names and your angels' names? Yeah, I do. I I certainly um spoke to you guys before, and you you gave me them, so I'm aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be if it's somebody else that's coming through, then they'll give you their names. If it's Archangel Michael, if it's Saint Germain, if it's you know a, a relative that has uh -huh. passed on, they're going to give you their name. Oh, that's brilliant. I will try and do that. Because you can feel their energies. Mm -hmm. You're just like me. I can feel who walked in the room. Yeah. And it, it's always, we, we identify ourselves energy wise. It's not by someone talking to you first. I can feel their energy before that. They even, because it, you know, we have six feet around us. That's our aura field. When, as soon as they touch my field, I know they're there. Yeah. Okay. Your neck pain, I think, has gone because it's come over here. Uh, is it okay you get a download to help you on this? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Your lower back, you have a little bit of pain in your lower back and your, your hips, your hips too. Yeah. Can you feel it going in? Yeah, I can. I feel very warm all of a sudden as well. Even your puppy wants to come through. Goodness gracious. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, I miss him so much. He said he misses you too, but he's oh. actually hanging around you a lot. Do you see him out of the corner of your eye? Oh, yeah, I think I do sometimes. <laughs> and and we have the other two dogs as well. And I think they can maybe see him because they react sometimes. And I think, is that him? Yeah, he hasn't left you. Oh, he's a wee star. He's letting he's let me know that. Oh my god, he gave me goosebumps. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's like, I'm still here. And he's you know, when he's so close to you that his his energy just doesn't want to leave. Oh usually they reincarnate really quickly. Yeah. And I think that there's certain ones that we have this this um, closeness to that they just don't leave. They their energy stays with us, and it's such a gift that we get. Oh, and I think you've had other lifetimes with him. That's why. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. And he says, "I'm never going to leave her. She's with. We're together through other through many lifetimes." Oh. Oh, I'm sending him my love. I love him so much. Yeah, the download was to do with ascension and awakening, so you might go a bit crazy soon. Don't oh. worry about it. <laughs> I'll be ready for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thanks. Right, he's sitting right next to you. Oh, brilliant. Where, right, exactly where he used to sit. Mm-hmm. Are you going to take him for a walk after? Yeah. <laughs> Get one of those leads with the pretend crawler on. He's actually saying she's going to take, I'm going to take her for a walk. <laughs> yeah, that's the usual, yeah. <laughs> so cute. He just wants to know if you can feel him sending you love. Oh, yeah. I can I said, let everybody know that he loves them too, that he's he's still there. He's still there. Oh, well, do. I'll tell everybody. And um, he said, he said, thank you to me for, and, and to Rick for making your back better because you, oh. you were hurting. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Drink a lot of water. I will do. I will. 
your lower back is it should feel a lot better within 24 hours oh and that's where it's phillips healing so. yeah that's and you download, so thank you so much i really appreciate your time thanks guys you're welcome Diane. okay next is susan susan yes i'm here Let me turn my camera Right. Yeah, outside then. <laughs> well, this is from in a chalet from, in the old Shasta from a couple of years ago. We were visiting there. So. Oh, but that's um, California. Yeah, Northern California. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm looking for mainly a channeling and, and then um, for healing if there's time at the end, I have, I had a massage a couple days ago and I noticed afterwards, like some, something off in both my knees, but mainly my left knee. And I usually have no knee problems whatsoever. So I'm like, did something with the massage? Like, uh, something? I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, you got a parasite in the spiritual parasite. I'm already, I'm getting that instantly. Okay. You didn't That's even have to tell me. Like, yeah. I know I've had, yeah, like attachments and stuff, but yeah. So if you can yeah. remove that, that'd be great in my knee, knee area or anywhere else. There's... Don't you think all beings should feed? They're just feeding on your knee energy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just very odd because I haven't had that feeling before. And it, it, you're the second it. person that's gotten a, ma mas a massage and then come away with either mm. an implant or a parasite. But it, the knees are the ones that get most damaged in humans, aren't they? That's the, the problems with the knees. They always are. So that's where they feed, feed the best because they can create the pain and feed off the negativity of the pain. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels like off, you know, like not really painful, but just, yeah, like something shifted there. They're the setting in <laughs> on the feeding ground. I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll shift. We'll shift yeah, them. Please remove. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Luckily, it's quick, so they're not they're not in. If you get what I mean, they're just they're just. It's like two days yeah. ago, like Wednesday, yeah. or well, yeah, three days Wednesday. Have you been run down lately? Um, I would say I have. I've had a lot of stuff going on. I'm, yeah, that, yeah. What happens is York Field gets weak in a bit, and they can just get into there. Yeah. So just do some grounding a bit. After this, or somewhere or in the near future, bringing yeah, out vibrational being nature and go for walks the last couple of weeks to help with help ground myself. <clears throat> Deb, yes, it's not just that, there might be an attachment as well. I think so. I, I was getting a, a, a male being. Actually. Yeah. Um, I, uh, just above the root chakra, tailbone. Just above it. It's um, one of those invisible ones. I'm feeling the energy there. Do you feel pain at all from your lower back? Um, I have occasional... Yeah, like lower back achiness or pain. Not so much right this second, but maybe it's I, I feel it slightly. Maybe yeah, a slight. Did you, feel, did, did you feel anything after the massage? Like, did you feel a? I don't, and I'm not necessarily pain. Did you feel anything like an energy? Anything energetic? Different. I mean, I, f I have a slight feeling of pressure, probably my lower back, but it's not like painful. Yeah. Um, yeah. uh, one thing, do you ever jolt a bit in your sleep or or when you have a healing or anything like that? Do you have a lot of body movements? It's just it, what, what I'm getting is your Kundalini might be at slightly awake, waking, and I think it might yeah. might be just feeding on your Kundalini energy so that you, that you cross. Yeah. yeah, I think I probably toss and turn a little bit, yeah. Mm. Your tailbone.
this could be a, a, a soul a, um, male a lost soul yeah well well it's not gone forward quite an old one as well Your knee's getting warmer yet? Yeah, I do kind of feel that. He didn't like that she called him quite old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my knees are starting to feel more like they normally do, I guess. I also have in my right foot... Kind of like around the two middle toes in my right foot. I have like a little bit of numbness going on there. Um, maybe it's probably, it's on the probably your spine. Yeah. I mean, it's been there for a little while. And I thought, well, because I'm diabetic, <laughs> I'm technically diabetic. Um, uh, try to eat like low carb and try to take good care of that. So I'm just wondering if I am. could be taking Moringa too and Lion's Mane. I do, I do take a mushroom cacao. I included a link in the chat um, for the company. I get my cacao, but I get a mushroom cacao. Um, you know that's is that a spe is that a special one? <laughs> it does. It has like eleven. It has lion's mane in it, but it has like eleven functional yeah. mushrooms. Yeah. It's a good one, but I include the link in the chat if interested. But... Let me get Leonard taken care of. He's uh, occupying your lower back. I'm just getting rid of, we're getting rid of these uh, parasites in your knees. Leonard Steinway, like the piano. Interesting. He's I'm getting. He's a, he is quite old. 106 is when he died. Oh. How old he was. <laughs> he told me he's not quite old. <laughs> old people tend to be like energy vampires. That's probably why he's got old of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't play any musical instrument except for like native drums and <laughs> that sort of thing. Okay, he's ready to remove himself. He may feel a release. How was your foot doing? I'm sending love to send him back to space. Calling him Archangel Mike and the other channel too. Now we're going to put some energy there. My hands, legs, <laughs> vibrating.
I'm just uh, building up Yark Field, some with Chi energy and dragon, dragon stuff. Can you feel it? Yes. Hey, the cars, by the way, connect with nature more. You probably do it every day anyway. Barefoot is good. I don't think you do it as much barefoot. I think you could it's do that. It's a little cold where she lives. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just cold. <laughs> <laughs> I try to go, yeah, just sit out in my gravel driveway and take my shoes off. And... <laughs> right. a, new, uh, a new project, new study on spirituality, a, di a different angle. Okay. Yeah. And the last one, uh, it's exactly what it means. Wow. Some romance coming. There you go. Well, I have a little of that already, so. Yeah, that's probably what it means then. It's going good, yeah. Mm -hmm. In that regard. Uh, you've gone red. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> sure. I had a good date last night, let's just put it that way. Well, that's probably what it is then. Isn't that good? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, I guess any other, I guess, channel messages or if there's time, I guess. Um, I read that you channeled that, uh, that I am Amenhotep the third, the Egyptian pharaoh. And I actually channeled him as like, I've been channeling like parallel lifetimes of mine and which is kind of interesting, but that was one that we like two weeks ago in our channeling. What, what I'm getting is this romance was manifestation on your part. Yeah, you manifested that. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an ex-boyfriend that we've been dating again for about four months. So it's been oh, going okay. Through. So it's yeah, like a reconnection in an in a new completely different way than before i'm going to have you tried connecting more with the emerald order i've been connecting with like the color of emeralds just the last day or two like lots of yeah the, 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 well that will be connected to them the emerald order beings are they're like silver looking but they've got like a gold ray coming off them Try and oh. connect connect with, with them because they're, they're the ones who are doing all the ascension. They're, they're the ones that got all the codes for the ascension. In oh. fact, I could ask them to give you a download if you want. Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Okay. Okay. Now let us know if you can feel it coming in. They got the convent from source. That's why they're the ones that planned all the ascension. You probably know that anyway. No, actually, I haven't heard too much about them. I haven't heard their name, but haven't looked into them, I guess. They're actually giving you an emerald dragon. So The emerald dragon's only just come onto Earth recently. The vibration of Earth was too low before him. Is there a name for this emerald dragon? Yeah, the name you want to name it. <laughs> I can name it. <laughs> yeah, you can name it. I'm definitely feeling a lot of heat now. Whew. Yeah, this if you channel into the dragon and mer partly merge, the dragon breath will be magical. So you can blow breath out and it'll be from the dragon. I've had dragon lifetimes. So. Hmm? Yeah, I've but this had is... lifetimes, so I'm definitely connected with dragons. Yeah, but this one is the emerald dragon. They're the higher vibration than the normal ones.
my whole body is rocking back and forth. I just feel like heat going down my arms, especially in my head area. You do my nodding up and down then. That's when it's that's the uh, download going in. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I am like noticeably rocking back and forth. <laughs> I'll try to. Okay, next is Lana Diamond. Thanks. Thanks, Susan. Yes, thank you. Susan. Oh my god. Hi, Christy. Oh. Hello, Deb. How are you? <laughs> and hello, Rick. Hi. Hello, Susan. Hello, Phil, and everybody else. Hi, Christy. For years and years. I haven't seen you. <laughs> <laughs> Lana, are you there? Deb, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, just trying I'm, to figure it all out. I'm just, I'm just letting me dog out. So. Okay, <laughs> I'll be only a minute. going on Lana? Um, I have a very bad uh, histamine um, infection throughout my body. Um, major rashes. Um, I wake up uh, throughout the night. Um, it's hard for me to sleep. Hard for me to get sleep, proper sleep. Um, and uh, just really bad rashes everywhere and it's random it goes all over my body sorry i'm just at work call it a histamine that's what I believe it is. Uh, another person said it could be liver damage. Um, I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I I, I don't know what's going on, but uh, it's really uh, itchy and like I'm almost driving myself crazy from scratching so much. What was that? Sorry, Lana. Um, extreme histamine um, within my body. Allergies to something. What supplements are you on? Um, oh boy, um, I'm taking milk thistle, quercetin uh, to help with the liver because I've always had a toxic liver. Um, um, right now, not too much. I'm taking some Chinese herbal medicines uh, to help with the bowels uh, to try and get things moving. Um, I just have not been well for the past six months. Yeah. You know what I'm going to recommend, don't you? I'd, I'd say Moringa and nicotine would help you big time. Yeah. The nicotine patch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Seven milligrams. Just a quarter of a patch. That's, per day. that's seven milligrams. Yeah. Okay. It'll be a big time. The moringa's got all the nutrients that you could have a think of. It's got 
It's got it will help your your bowel and all of that. Everything cl- cleanse your blood. It'll help you everywhere. It, it, it's both of them two are great plant medicines. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you see anything within any of my organs that, that anything's going on? She's got par- any, she's got parasites. Any attachments? Anything that can be removed? Anything that's affecting me? I think what's happening, all these supplements you've had them just started on, on them recently, or have you been having them for a while? Recently, past month. Right. What happens, the parasites are defending themselves from them. The supplements are killing the parasites, so they start making you ill, allegedly. <laughs> That's my opinion. This is for entertainment purposes only. But yeah. if you go on to a, if you're, if you change your vibration, very quickly, and it's the body parasites that are creating the illness, they'll create more. So it, it's just got to be do, done subtly, yeah? Not like stun them, or you got to do them really. So just carry on with that, but maybe lower the dosage and try the Moringa and the uh, nicotine patch, yeah? Because they're more subtler. Yeah. So how long have you been feeling? Six months you've been feeling like this. Yes. And how long have you been on the supplements? A month. And has it gone worse since you've had the supplements? Um, no, no. Oh, just the same? Okay. Um, it's, well, it all depends. If I start scratching, I just, I break out in these massive welts everywhere. And I can't Mm. stop scratching. Like this morning, I was... Woken up again at 3 a.m. And that hasn't been for a while. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I'm stumped. I, I keep to myself. I talk to nobody. I don't deal with anybody anymore. I'm kind of fed up with a lot of people. And I don't understand uh, why I'm treated uh, so negatively and so badly by a lot of people that I've never even met. Um, the way my family treats me or has treated me my whole life ever since I was a little kid. And that's just continues on. So I'm holding on to this energy of blah, 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 poor me bullshit. And I don't know how to get rid of it because I want to say a lot of things to a lot of people, but I just keep my mouth shut. Lana, the lower your vibration is, the more this is going to happen. We have, to, you know, that it, it, you, know, you, you can do what you want, but um, and it's like a vicious circle because I can't get any sleep. Very rarely do I sleep, and I have to work. Otherwise, I can't. I don't eat. I don't get. I don't have anything. Okay, the vicious circle I'm in right now, and I don't know which to tackle first. I'm trying the best I can. Have you tried uh, playing Phillips, the, the, the uh, video that Philip put out to um, get rid of negative energies and parasites in the body, negative energy in your, in your space? Have you, have you heard about it? No, I have not. I have very, um, I haven't had much to, on uh, YouTube or Facebook or anything. I just post something and I'm off right away because I don't have time. So is it on his website? It's on, on YouTube? YouTube? It's on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Yes. It's really good. It's very good. It uh, it removes any negative energies in your space, in your house. Um, it's And it'll remove parasites in your body. Is that a recent video or is it possible to maybe... It's in the last few months. We can send it to your uh, messenger. Are you, you're on messenger, right? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, we can send it to your Facebook messenger. Okay, so it's just 
internal parasites then is what's going on we're, we're going to yeah we can get rid of them but for you to keep well, we them. can get rid of so much yeah yes but, but we, we all everyone's got pounds of them in the body so. yes right well i noticed that um when I take like the Chinese herbs and uh, of course the Chinese doctor said to me, take it, you know, um, mid afternoon and early evening. And then my other pills that I take the quercetin and milk thistle, take that either f at first thing in the morning and then last thing at night. So I'm not mixing anything. I'm giving enough space in between. And um, I noticed that the more that I'm following that, the more die off, so the more itching and the, the more craziness is happening, but it feels like it they're still all there. Like it, it's really bizarre. That's the video I put on. Yeah. Uh, can I just show you Moringa? What it does? I'll share screen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if I can find it, just give me a minute. But I had it. Sure. Oh, that's it. I'm, that's it. Yeah, I'm on there now. <laughs> Have you got it? Um. Yeah. So that would. I mean, take a quick snapshot. Wait. Let me try it sideways. If it goes. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let me expand that. If so. I can. It enhances okay. your skin, L. Yeah. Okay. It normalizes your blood sugar. It increases your mental clarity. Improves wound healing, detoxification. Eliminates constipation. It definitely does that. Anti tumor, anti fungi. And if you have a look at all the nutrients in it, there. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a magical. Anti-inflammatory. Uh, yeah. Okay. Have that and put does that it, video on, and it'd be great. Does it come in its knee? It strengthens the immune, immune system, antidepressant, normalizes blood pressure, vision improvement, increases energy and endurance, anti cholesterol, enhances skin health, stimulates hair growth, anti inflammatory, antioxidant, increases mental clarity, normalizes blood sugar, appetite suppressant, improves wound healing. Detoxification, anti ulcer, eliminates con constipation, improves digestion, nutrition for infants, yeah. months, months and older, and pregnant and nursing mothers, anti tumor, reduces wrinkles, age lines, anti fungal, uses an okay. aphrodisiac, and promotes lipid, libido. Okay. okay. Sign me up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, I was taking like lion's mane as well, and yes, I noticed that that was helping a lot with the, uh, you know, from the previous strokes, right? And just having a little bit more mental clarity and having a little bit more balance from living in a in a in a situation of constant stress, right? Um, and born into constant well, stress. Yeah, what lion's mane does allegedly. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah. Uh, we also take that too. They, they've they've actually dementia pe patients that have died. They've cut the uh, brain off, and there's been mold on the brain, and they feel that could be linked to the dementia. So lion's mane gets rid of uh, the mold in the body, and you get mold off fruit and stuff like that. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And and that makes sense because I'm highly allergic to mold, so yeah. I have probably a lot of it in my body too. Yeah, and right now be my good. house, the basement is flooded, and I'm trying to save up so that I could get some help to to help with that because it's mm. in a crawl space. I'm out in the country, and it just stinks like crazy. So yeah, lots of probably, stuff going so on. So yeah, the lions made it get rid of the mold in your in your body. Uh, it can be uh, very dangerous that mold. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but but it's strange. You've done a lot of experiments with the uh, lion's mane and mold, and then it starts to start deleting the the stuff because it it can help you so much, basically. Yeah. 
Well, I thought I stopped taking it about a week ago now since I've been on the Chinese herbs and the milk thistle and the quercetin because I found that it was getting a lot worse. And that's probably because it's been doubly attacking, you know, and the die off, right? Which I understand die off. I've had it before. Uh, but this is like so intense that I can't even sleep like well. So I can show you guys a picture later how intense, how bad it is. It's really, really but- bad. Out of all the supplements I've ever had, the Moringa, you could tell within two days there was a change. Yeah. Okay. Within a week, I, I ended up, I, I'm a, a martial arts coach, and for the first time in 15 years, I decided to tell the class, does anyone want to fight me? I had four, and I beat them all, and I haven't fought for 15 years. And I do believe that is the lion's mane and the Moringa to give brain clarity so I can think quicker and I've got more breath. That's what it gave me. It gave me more breath and think a lot, lot quicker. Yeah, yeah that's what I need. Maybe you can help me too with, um, I, I'm trying to quit smoking and I find it very difficult. <laughs> that's my only vice. Well, the best, the best way, nicotine patches, because you're only having the nicotine, which is good for you. And I have it, a whole bag of nicotine patches and here in Canada, they don't stick to my system. They don't stick to anywhere on my body um, at all. I put one on within five minutes. You start sweating and it slides right off. It's a waste. Have you ever put so, it on your chest? Because chest is the nearest thing to you. It gets into the blood a lot quicker. On my chest? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I, I, as soon as I put it on, because it's plastic and there's no holes, nothing to breathe. It's just literally a piece of plastic. And you, I put it on and within seconds, um, it, it starts uh, like I start sweating under it and then it just slides right off. I've complained to the companies and they said, well, there's nothing we can do. Nobody else is complaining. So uh, have you I have a whole thing what about, in what my about, closet. What about putting a plaster over it? <laughs> I have, I have done that and it doesn't soak into the system at all because you start sweating and the sweat, the oil stops any nicotine from getting in. Yeah. But then I suggested have a it's, yeah nicotine gum, moringa. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could probably pick some of that up then. And moringa, yeah. I'll look. Can I get that online? Like, yeah, it's easy there, to get moringa. Uh, it is it, uh, organic. Uh, okay. we, Do you we, have a name of a company that you? Try? We we have, we we have, we both me and Deb we have capsules with no binders, chemicals, or sliders. None of them at all, so it's natural. Yeah. Yeah, I, I put my own uh, lion's mane powdered uh, from a friend out here in the country, um, and I put that in, into my own capsules myself. Okay. So, and I stopped taking it maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll... <laughs> okay, I'll look into the meringue. And um, is there any... Um, attachments like on a astral level or is that what you guys were talking about before? Mm-hmm. I don't see any. No. Nope. Okay. That's a good thing. They call in the violet flame all the time. By the way, yeah, you cards, you're planning on changing your life because of you, you don't like what you are to do this. Start connecting, start doing more, play on the journey, have a have a break from your journey. Have a break from it all. If you can have an holiday or something like that. Yeah, I'd love that. I would love that. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. Thank you. I'm just okay. uh, I'm just going to do healing. Just a minute on these parasites. Just give me a minute. Okay. Are we still on the uh, Deb, let us know when it's the five-minute ones or he's, he's the five-minute ones. <laughs> Can you feel that? No, I don't feel anything. Try and be, I know it's difficult, try and be more positive because that would help you in its way. The negative, dwelling on what's happening in the past and everything and it keeps on coming, 
just feeding it. What sort of water do you have? What sort of water? Yeah, do you, do you um, purify water? I get it from the uh, a, the a store out here that has like a one of those big machines. Everybody goes to fill up their their mm. plastic containers for water. Okay. And it's uh, like a, I don't know if it's a reverse osmosis, but it's a, it's probably the cleanest water out here anyway. Um, uh, this, you're trying to get off your cigarettes. Have you ever thought of trying the cigarettes that the Indians, the your native Indians make and supply? Because they'd be less chemical. Um, yeah, well, uh, what, what I was just thinking is maybe just cutting off the filter for now and just going hardcore until I get so sick of just the nicotine in the paper, but not the filter. And then, uh, and then weaning off of that, I'm thinking. Mm. But the, the I, I do know that your native Indians do a good the their cigarettes are a lot quite good for you. I have been told that. But without well, the that's filter, that's the cigarettes I'm smoking. <laughs> Believe it or not, okay. that's the cigarettes I'm smoking. I get them from the reserve. That's fine then. They're the, they, I've seen the studies on them, and they're okay as long as you take the filter off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that filter off for sure. Yeah. Because they're all uh, governed by the system, so. Mm. Exactly. All right. Yeah. I've tried okay. to burn. I've tried to burn some of the uh, crap that you got inside you. So. Right. Yeah. Because I'm feeling really itchy, and as I'm scratching, I'm starting to get the welts right here on the back of my neck. Mm. Oh well. Whatever. It is what it is. It's been a long time, I and do I think, appreciate I, you guys. I do think moringa would be really good for you. So. Wonderful. I will look into that. Thank you. And the frequency that I've got on there, the weapon. I call it a weapon. Right. Thank you for sending that in Messenger as well. I don't want to okay. take any more of you guys' time up. I appreciate you all very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, next is Gabriel. Are we on the free ones? Yeah, we're on the free ones now. Okay, thanks. Hi, Gabriel. Can you guys see me? Are me okay? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Gabriel. Good. Oh, we have delay here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me uh, let me connect to the Wi-Fi. Maybe I'm not connected right now. I just got back from Walmart. Yep, that's it. All right. Who's better? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you want a channeling or a healing? Can you feel that? Yeah, I'm releasing. 
while we're doing this, I've just I've done two cards. You've got divine timing, so you're being guided. Yeah, it's probably the guidance that you're being given. You've got new love, which I think is divine. It, open your heart to divine love. Yeah. But knowing yeah. you, it's probably another friend knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, I met somebody new, and it's definitely like a masculine one. Energy, so. um, if you're getting healing on the bottom of your feet, have your feet been bothering you? Yeah. So um, I had this, like I broke something. I had glass in my foot or something. And I couldn't get it out. So I have an issue, but I always kind of have pain on my feet because um, I'm kind of flat-footed. So, uh, but the I, I I don't know if the glass piece came out or it's just kind of grown over and it doesn't hurt as much anymore. But gosh, that feels good. That's a headache. Um, yeah, I think too, being grounded and rooted because I got wrongfully terminated. I've been being harassed at work and I stood up for myself. I reached out to HR and they are getting involved. Bob called back today and is trying to backpedal. So I've had some security issue things going on, but every, my angels and stuff have been helping me out. <laughs> so Open your heart for divine love. That's why. And I've been praying for my joy. Find me. And I, I'd, I'd also recommend for everyone, Moringa. The thing is, someone told me the other day, but I'm not ill. I said, well, why do you have med uh, supplements when you're ill? Why don't you have it before you're ill so you don't become ill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, Will. And you said moringa. I think I missed that part of the conversation earlier. Yeah, moringa. I, I recommend it to everyone. M M O R I N G A. Actually, I was taking it while we were <laughs> doing healing. I was taking my vitamins because I forgot to take them this morning. <laughs> I just wrote it down. It's just a plant medicine at the end of the day all about it i just got some ginger and turmeric juice today i was drawn to it I'm like okay i'm not sure why but and then i looked up the benefits it was like inflammation i'm like man i really have been struggling with my neck and stuff. Mm. <laughs> well, when i say nicotine as well did you know potatoes have got nicotine in and eggplant but we never go to the we never get some French fries because we're addicted to them, do we? <laughs> I mean, I love yeah. me some carbs, so that would make sense, yeah. really. Especially when I'm trying to ground or after a tarot reading, I'm looking for something like that. <laughs> oh, how are you feeling? I'm still on ten times better. Thanks. I think that feet as well is to do with grounding. Yeah, to do with some grounding. I'm gonna increase it. I started taking Angel out more to go to the bathroom and play and stuff, and I need to do more of that. Do you do it in barefoot? Yeah, when I'm outside. Yeah. Yeah, and then taking baths too. I've been trying that water. It's more helpful when I have like a lot of emotions going on. And then sometimes I'll do the grounding like with this tree I made a friend with outside. I do, I do believe when you walk barefoot in soil, you're actually having a supplement. You're actually having food. The energy is giving you food so you don't have to eat as much. I really do believe that. I believe that too. Right. I think that's it. You got an extra minute. Whoa. Thank you so much. All right. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Wendy is up next. Hello, hello. 
Hi, Wendy. How are you guys? I'm good. I'm just here for my checkup. <laughs> I um I actually have um been feeling a lot of low energy lately, so I don't I don't know if you want to if that comes up or and or was uh, thinking maybe you guys could just give me a little information on a past life that's currently connecting with me or needs to be addressed. I was going to say you need an holiday, but you go more holidays than I ever see. <laughs> me? <laughs> you're, you're saying it's a spiritual journey. <laughs> uh, yeah. I sure guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you got a retreat. There you go. <laughs> what is that? The third car you did get the holiday. <laughs> what is that? Ella, Ella who? Retreat. Wait. Uh, retreat. <laughs> yeah, retreat, what, retreat. <laughs> I said that before I got the car. I don't know. Oh. Time for a rest, I guess. <laughs> That's something on our spine. It's funny, I was getting some at the front, but I think that could be the spine, if you get what I mean. It's the same location. Oh, not leaping around. <laughs> it's a. It almost looks like a snake wrapped around her spine. Well, I'm getting as well, Dev. If you check it out, I'm getting. I'm getting another attachment near the snake. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Look, all these clearings I'm doing, and yet they still find me. <laughs> I, I've been told this this lost soul was trying to get rid, get away from the snake, and went into you, and the snake's followed. <laughs> oh, how fun! <laughs> yeah. The lost but, soul. The lost soul is a witch. I got, mm. I got that. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I thought I better not say. Uh, I should say me truth. I did get. I did like a. She looked really very witchy. So weird. I actually have been thinking about this uh, dream I had years ago about an orange, a large orange snake, and I was like, well, I know it's not that. And then, and then most recently, I've been thinking that maybe I have a a witch past life or something that is trying to be healed. But maybe I'm just picking up that that's what that attachment was. Huh. It's not your past life. Dev, I actually saw a remote viewing of the, a witch sort of figure. I should have said it. You beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I, 100% on that. 100%. So why would a witch escape into your into your energy field and then the snake, what was the snake, the snake chasing it? Or is it linked to it? I'm not sure. I've, I'm not sure. Or is the snake the witch? I don't know. Snake. Hmm? Yeah, is the snake a shape shifting witch? I don't know. Snake is the curse, a, a curse the witch put on somebody. Hmm. So uh, it's linked to witchcraft, what she's been doing. And uh, she's done it wrong, basically. So. Yeah. The snake went you, after the witch. Yeah. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to like. Do the witchcraft through someone else, and this is these... longer than a five minute. Yeah, I know. We'll have to do it quick. I do. Yeah. Holy crap! Jillian. He's a slow healer. <laughs> no, you bring your crap here. <laughs> Holy shit, Wendy! Uh, take take more time, and I'll I'll pay you guys. <laughs> yeah, by the way, the cards are saying you're getting extra blessings. Because you got to get rid of a snake. And once you got rid of that, you'll get spiritual growth. So there you go. Holy crap. All right. Some interesting dilemmas. 
I, I don't know how they just find me. <laughs> Beetles, snakes, witches. So basically, you were you were, you were partly protecting the witch <laughs> without knowing it. <laughs> oh boy! From it from her own witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of this snake. I just need to keep you guys entertained. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Trying to work out how to get rid of it. It's a bit different, this snake one. Um, curse removal. Hmm? I said curse removal. That's what I just heard in my head. Get the book curse removal out, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can, I've been told I can use the plant spirits to trap the snake, and then we'll work on the witch. So. She's saying, no, you're not. I'm not going anywhere. Can you see it, Deb? It's wrapping itself. The snake spirits are wrapping its roots around the snake. Mm. I'm not going to kill the snake. I'm going to just take it back. I, I think it's from the... Uh, Dark side of it. Actually, yeah, the snake is not actually a snake. It was a curse put on some kind of being, whether it's human or. Well, the, the plant's now wrapping itself around the visual snake at the moment, and what it'll do is it, the plant be beings have been told they'll take the curse out of it. So it is curse removal. It is, yeah. I didn't know. That. So what will happen is they'll draw it out. Woo! Feeling that wooziness. Um, that, this is a new one for me, by the way. <laughs> well, I I like to keep you busy and <laughs> it challenging and growing. <laughs> Snake's just been removed. Feel better already. Yeah, I just, yeah. I like felt, I just felt like this. I don't know, like a, like a, poop on the top of my head. Yeah, they're, they're they're not killing it. They're taking it back and they'll cleanse it. So that's good. Yeah. Don't want to kill it if it's been cursed. Now this, I wonder if the witch did this. The witch is going to this. I think we should send this to the source. Yeah. Uh, I'm giving her a chance to forgive uh, for forgiveness. You always got to give him one chance. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's not nice. She's fighting it. I hear her in my ear. Can you feel her pull, getting pulled out? Yeah. I wonder if yeah, she fries. That's like in the front part of my stomach now. I wonder if she fries when she goes to light. The root people uh, have rooted her into her and they're just dragging her out. <clears throat> and I'm asking... I'm asking Callie to help me transmute it. There you go. I love Callie. Oh, there goes the lightning. Is that what's been causing the uh, jerking in my shoulder at night as I go into meditation and sleep? Definitely, yeah. yeah. 
that caused all sorts of problems. <laughs> Got part tickled. <laughs> Helping remove this energy. Hmm. <laughs> Did they burn her at the stake? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not watching. <laughs> hmm. She's get part of her is getting transmuted. So a lot of the dark layers are being removed and we're going to see what's left of her. It's weird. It's like I feel like my earlobes are hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just got a download from the Emerald Order. They're giving free downloads at the moment. All right. <laughs> oh. So, how are you feeling? Woozy. <laughs> Not surprised. Yeah, I think you need to, uh, well, you know what you need to do now. You need to ground. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm go walk outside barefoot. Yeah. Sit with my uh, elder Andaras, uh, root beer elder. That'll help too. That's spiritual growth, by the way. I think connect with your art chakra more. Think from your art and let you get, you get some spiritual growth. Open your art more. I always visualize it as like a an emerald uh, planet, yeah, and it grows uh -huh. bigger and bigger. So you visualize it going bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, I usually think of it as like a heart with a line around it, and then the line gets a bigger line and a bigger line and a bigger line. Mm. So it grows, grows, grows. But I like the emerald planet. Mm. So I'm going to use I, that emerald sun. Sorry, I was just I just told emerald sun? That, yeah emerald sun. Okay. That's it, yeah. Yeah, planet might not glow, but the emerald sun and bright light in it. Oh, where did I where did I pick this gal up from anyway? <laughs> well, you do that much, you just don't. I don't. <laughs> Can't be from anywhere that. Um, now my third eye is like. Is it vibrating. Uh, it's more of a pressure than a vibration. Hmm. So the green dragon that I have is um is he of the emerald order as well or is he just a uh earth guardian? How, how long is it? How long have you had him? Um since last summer when in June when we were in Scotland yeah, and Ireland. Yeah. The chan the chance Scotland. Were you in Scotland? Yes. <laughs> oh, you were with me. <laughs> yeah, we uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a good meal. Uh, the Emerald Dragons have been around about three or four years. So, yeah, the, chance, the odds on the, yeah, the Emerald Dragons. Yeah, definitely. So, so I take powerful. it that's a mm -hmm. good part of why I've been feeling super tired? Yeah. Yes. It, it's it's getting used to the energy because these have come from, I think it's 18D or something, or 16D. So uh, it's it's like getting used to it. Yeah, it's not easy. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Whew. Getting really used to having that around you, yeah? eye vibration can be quite difficult on the physical. But there you go. That's Actually, nice. I remember last year um, before I visited, I was getting like a lot of full body, like whole body shaking. And um, 
quite a bit of kundalini energy and then when we were uh, I, I was going to say that uh, that's definitely kundalini if your body shakes weirdly in that finger why it is it's a kundalini it's like a snake energy going from you crisscross yeah and i actually, actually could feel it both yeah. of them i could feel them both crisscrossing and then when we were in scotland and ireland it went down a little bit and then it continued on through the spring uh, of this year and then finally it, it settled in yeah that was my healing by the way <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was definitely your well, healing. <laughs> what, the, what the Kundalini energy is not what a lot of people do, but it's getting rid of karma as well from past lives. You know, it heals all the trauma in each cell. And then when you violently jerk, it can be like a, a karma from a past life. So it, it's like a fast healing process. I, I've I've done it's two in the last six months, and they they've done a Kundalini awakening while I've been healing them. And it, it's as though they're having a fit. <laughs> it's very, very mad. <laughs> yeah, well. yeah. You, you just hope it's the Kundalini awakening. And when, you, when they come out of it and everything, you, yeah, it's luckily. You don't know whether to carry on healing or phone the ambulance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so any, any past life I need to be aware of? Don't have any messages. Okay. All I'm being told is, is it a very high, high, high aspect and you still need to connect. Your okay, first, yeah. your first aspect. My first one was a rainbow crystal dragon, but I, I don't connect because I'm not good enough for her. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm male, so she don't like males. I, don't. <laughs> I had, I had some kind of a, a beige crystal being that that's the highest I think I've reached mm. so far, as far as my aspects to connect with. Mm. So there's more out there, eh? <laughs> I, I think ever the uh, diamond blue crystal woman, she's very, very high. She, she's like a source being. So she's one of the first. That's for me anyway. All right. All right, All right that's, cool. I think that's it then. Yeah. Thank you, All Wendy. Right. A very interesting okay. as usual. <laughs> Just yeah. keeping it real, keeping it real. <laughs> have you got Have you got a flute that you draw these out of the out of this? You draw these ancient stuff out. Yeah, there you go. You shouldn't be playing that. You, you're the Pied Piper of the uh, oh god wi of witches and snakes. <laughs> I, I and I thought that was helping the vibration with my. <laughs> well, it was. It was drawing them out. <laughs> Well, we're, you know, helping, I'm just helping raise the vibration of earth by making these things go away. <laughs> well, that, we got rid of the witch. We got rid of the snake. It's lifted the vibration. Definitely is. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Thank you guys. I will Thank uh, you. be sending you the tip, the usuals. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Fine. Margaret. Okay. Linda is up. Linda Winger. Hello. Hi. Well, I guess just a scan and healing, whatever you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to be ordering some of that moringa today. Good. You'll, you'll feel a difference within a few days. That one yeah. just, um vitamins uh, where it takes a few weeks the moringa you will feel within a few days you will feel yeah. different. it's really good stuff there's so many i'm just looking there's so many brands um just get the one with the veg vegetarian get the the um organic and vegetarian capsules ours is uh, bronson okay. yeah bronson is ours yeah. bronson I actually, we actually bought the tree, but it's still a little stick right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Do you know, I did your cards then, and I got blessings. So I thought, that was the last card. So I thought, I'll, I'll, I'll put it back in the pack, shuffled it, and got it again. So it's obviously blessings. You get an extra blessings off the angels. Could do a break, like all of us, and a bit of frequency with that break. Angel Michael said you're blocking out um, voices or, or uh, you're blocking out messages. You're not trusting the messages. Do you know that? 
Yeah, I guess so, because I'm <laughs> not, I don't feel tuned in to, hmm. And so he says, you're not trusting them. So he wants you to trust the energies you're feeling and trust the messages they're trying to give you. So in this all energetics, trust the voices. It's your own voice you're going to hear, but the messages are going to be clear enough for you to say, okay, I can, I'm going to trust that. To stop getting out of get out of your head, get out of here. It comes through here. He said that we're with you. Your guides are with you. Your angels are with you. The ascended masters are with you. I know. Just trust them. Trust the get, information they're they're giving you. I got to get too many online people's voices out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Trust the ones that are coming to you to give you these wonderful messages just for you, not for anybody else, yeah. just for you. I don't know. I've been saying I'm not totally convinced I'm human because I'm fine that humans are weird. <laughs> well, there's two, it's two uh, strains of weird, uh, humans now. The real weird ones are us and the complete weirdos that are run by, you don't know... You don't, the, whatever they say is the opposite of what we think. Yeah. It's like a Mandela effect, isn't it? People going crazy in this world. I've, I've been, I've been called today, especially a conspiracy theorist, and I've been called lots of names today. Who's, who's giving you the compliments? Then? <laughs> oh, my niece and her friends from college because they've got degrees. Oh, <laughs> tell them. That I agree with you, and I have got a degree. So there you go. And I don't tell, I don't say that often. I was the youngest person that ever got that degree, ever. Uh, there you go. Twenty-one I was, and everyone else was normally twenty-nine. So. <laughs> I don't but, know my my sleepy younger sisters. They're some of the most beautiful, wonderful people. Mm. So are they? They're they're be my my niece is a beautiful, wonderful person, but. I'm I'm the nutball in the family. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have communications a lot, so. Yeah, it's Moringa with an O, by the way, M-O-R, uh, Cindy. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about, so. Do you know, when I, when I used to do exams, I used to channel the answers. <laughs> is, ah, that, right is that wrong? Is that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't Sounds think pretty that. wise to me. <laughs> Uh, only if I didn't know him, I knew most of them. But sometimes I used to say, "Come on, you, you <laughs> go, go in, the, go in the kashik yeah, for me, it. get the information, and give it me." Yeah, huh? Can you feel the energy they're sending to your heart right now? Because they really, truly are get, sending you such loving energy. Oh, oh yeah, I feel a lot. Oh, just... <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's especially when they're trying to communicate with you. They are sending you this beautiful, loving energy. They they want to let you know that they're there with you all the time. They never leave you. That communication is always there. Your higher self is always connected with you. You're never not connected. You're never disconnected. You can sit there and say, oh, I'm not connected. I don't feel connected. You are. That's oh, I know that. Just the awareness of it. Yeah. It, 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 that's always there, too. Yeah. You, be aware. I mean, you can you can say it, and then you make yourself not aware. But they're there. <laughs> they're not yeah. leaving you. They will never leave. Ever. There's nothing that can make them leave you. That's the beautiful part of all this. Is they're just loving. They're, they're pure love. They don't have any hate or anger in them, no matter what we do. That's the best part of this. You know, we can screw up and they will have nothing but love for us. Mm. So just, and there, there's this white light of love and energy coming from the top of your head and, and going through your body right now and just washing through this beautiful, it's almost like a warm water feeling, which is our creator's energy. Sending a healing energy through you. Mm. 
He says, uh, you should love yourself more as, as I love you. You don't love each other. You don't love yourself enough. We should all love ourselves more. He said, never mind what you think. I know, he says, this is God talking to you, creator. <laughs> I know more. I know you're perfect, so stop thinking you're not. I know you are. Isn't that enough for you, my child? Did you, did you say, I was, think, I was thinking yesterday, you know, I can't think of anybody else <laughs> that I'd rather be. I just want to be me. Good. Yeah. Then, then you say that, but I want you to really believe it because you are beautiful. You are perfect. And there's nobody like you. Some energy came off your shoulders then, by the way. Yeah, there's. Oh. Yeah. I remember you getting extra blessings off the angels. Could do a break and a bit of frequency in your life, meditation and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> did anyone know how many minutes it is? Because I didn't. I got that in. Should have a timer. What I should do is when the five minutes come up, I should do. <laughs> that's what we do at the healing center when, every, when time goes yeah. all right we're on to the next <laughs> thank you you're welcome you. beautiful day i'm gonna get out there in my bare feet yeah you get, get some sun downloads think, think yourself lucky because we get them rare I'm, I'm still trying to get used to this eastern time <laughs> <laughs> yeah Okay, Margaret. Okay, Lauren is next. Long time no see, Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. Long time no see. Sorry it's been so long. I had an internal cocooning process and then I came back out again. Long, long story. <laughs> what do you mean a cocoon? You were stuck in the cocooning in process, just kind of like in staying in because of my hand. I had injured my hand this year at work. I had to collect workers. Yeah comp so that was fun oh always fun how is your uh, always now? always fun what how's your hand now it's still it's still you know weak it's still i'm going to pt and i'm doing a bunch of stuff for it thanks for asking it's still slow i think i'm here for a channeled message or something like that i've been having weird synchronicities happen to me since the end of august I got telepathic contact with an emu and I started dreaming about blue avian spaceships when we had that lunar eclipse in, Sp in Pisces. Some really weird, weird online stuff coming through for me at telepathy. Yeah. Uh, the cards. Michael's coming to me right away saying, be careful for false information coming through and channeling because there are many, many many that are coming through that are not of the light okay good to know good you, to know your card is trust so trust the messages are true when they're when you can feel them in your gut so it's a location when you get a message just to ask yourself is this good or bad and you'll get you get that gut feeling then yeah Oh. Also, ask Archangel Michael to protect you from any that are not of the light, yeah. and he will not let those messages come through. I have okay. a, I have an agreement with him before I even started channeling messages that he will not allow any messages that are not uh, true and of the light to come through. I, I will not channel anything that is not of the light. Nothing mm. will come. Okay. He protects me from anything that's not true. Good to know. And... Uh... Connect with nature more, barefoot. Yeah, connect. Yeah, that, connect that, with nature barefoot. Yeah, uh, uh, that's the card of the day. That one, and take care of your body. Obviously, you've got an hand injury, so take care of your, your physical body. Uh, what I would also do is, if, if you're not sure about the messages, play that frequency music. And we've also got a prayer ritual where 
it you basically fill in your name and it basically says that you're a sovereign being but anything that is not a for your is good you want it out, out the way yeah so uh, have you been implanted that you know of I mean, yeah, some some people uh, offer implants for channeling. Mad as it is, <laughs> yeah, you've not been. You've not. You, have I, you ever asked for an implant? No. No. She's got one. She got one. Yeah. Behind her ears. Ear or ears? Ears. You want it gone? Yeah, I want gone. That'd be awesome. Thank you so okay. much. So, depending on how long you've had that implant, it could be false, uh, false info that you're getting. You might be getting played a bit. Yeah, yeah it's possible. I just got a message from the Blue Avians telling me that they are not contacting humans at this time. Okay. I have never had a conversation with a Blue Avian before. Okay. They are not having communication with hum with anyone on this planet at this time. Interesting. I've got an aspect that's blue raven. Deb. I, I got an aspect. What was watching me eel and they just wanted to watch. It says, well, we we're not doing any we we're not we we're not signed to do anything on earth. We're just watching you. <laughs> well, okay. You're not, not having telepathic communication with anyone yeah, on Yeah. Okay. Can you feel that, Lauren? Yeah, I can feel that behind ears. Yeah, I've got a connection to the Emerald Order. You were you were assigned, assigned by him, by the way. Hmm. You can connect more if you want to. Good to know. I'll do that. Thank you. There are groups, negative groups, that are doing telepathic communication with people and acting like they're ascended masters and they're from ships above and they're and they are um I well they they're just they're not they're exactly. actually with uh yeah yeah you have to be very careful they're actually with the um I'm not even gonna say who because I'm live on they're just not good people. I think I think I get your drift. I think I can fill in the blanks myself. Yeah. So I I get, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. How are you feeling? Better. Yeah. Definitely better. I'm not Just saying got, who, I'm not saying who that implant was connected to. <laughs> Just got heaviness released from my chest and my ears. That was better. Yeah. I'm actually going. Do you want me to say a fallen angel? There you go. It was connected. Oh, to that's 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 fan that's fantastic. That's just great. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Didn't want to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they all point to the same place, don't they? Yeah, that's that is new on me. That is a new one. So, 
they all yeah. eventually point to the same place. Yeah. Did you do any cards? Did I do any cards? <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. Did I do your cards? No. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember either. I did, did them, but like... they mustn't be in it. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, let me do them again. It's good actually because your cards change now that's out. That's good. You know what I mean? Because the cards would have been different till that's out and then they change because change Because it's out. Life. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. It puts um energy there. Yeah. Later. Got new love, which is divine love. So that's probably the connection mm -hmm. to the Emerald Order. Yeah. Don't overthink things that like healing commence take place. So if you got anything in, in your mind, just let it go. And uh, truth and integrity. Beautiful. Yeah. You're all set. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah. You. Thank you for the three minutes. It's nice to see you guys again. Thank you so much for help and filing away everything for the future. Yeah, that truth and integrity. If you ever make a mistake, just send it to source so it doesn't repeat itself in a cycle. That's okay. Yeah. Send it to source, got you. Sometimes, this is for everyone, this is a new thing. If you ever have a, do a mistake and you repeat it, yeah, or you make a big thing in your life, go to your mirror image and ask for forgiveness and let it go. It's a way of it's a way of uh, connecting to your inner child. Your Im mirror image is like your inner child, and you can release addictions, mistakes, in that way. Yeah. Does that make sense? That's what I've been told anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Lauren. Was that five minutes? Someone should have a timer. <laughs> <laughs> And Margaret Joan is here. Probably she... ten. It's probably ten. Yeah. Chef, Joan is up. Oh, okay. All right, thanks, Hi, Lauren. Hi. Thank you. Thank um, you. I I just Hi. want to have a I Devin Reek and Bill. Hello. <laughs> I just want to uh, get some scan or any uh, uh, what you call fast life. <laughs> That's live. Let's see. Oh, goodness. I don't know what you would call this. <laughs> What is, uh, what is an Asian assassin? What do they call? Assassin? A ninja? You know, they're all in black. Yeah, a ninja. Is that what they're called? Are they assassins? They were, yes. <laughs> That's what you were. I don't even know what you I, I I'm getting your work for for uh you actually worked with Buddha. There you go. Buddha, yeah. The Buddha. Not just the Buddhist place, but the Buddha. I wonder if he, I wonder if it's to do with the assassins. What am I I said just Buddha. <laughs> hmm? yeah. Do you get that or have you ever thought mm -hmm. had that before? Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I've been told that was a uh, uh, ascended Buddha, uh, one of the ascended Buddhas. <laughs> so you descended. <laughs> descended, and then now it descended. <laughs> yeah. And some people just, think, some people think, <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of beings here descended to get here. And that yeah. is so complex. Wow. Yeah. A lot of us did. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but I saw you as a ninja. I didn't know what, I mean, I, you were all in black. Oh. But you were a man. Yeah, the Chinese. Is that Chinese? Yeah, I think so. Mostly your boy, past life was Chinese. <laughs> yeah, and even your face was covered. Wow. In, anyway, uh, that was... um. How about my, uh, would you scan my back still, my spine or my, the, my head? I guess I have a dream last night that I have this, I don't know what you call it, parasite or maybe it's, uh, it's like a snake on my hair. <laughs> it's like all over my hair, but I took it out. You're not Medusa, are you? <laughs> Not Medusa, no. <laughs> I don't see a snake. Yeah, because it, it removed. Probably, I just in my dream I removed it, but I no, don't know. I don't, but I don't see a snake in your back or in your. Hmm. Joan, li listen to what you just said. You removed it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> In my dreams, because I took it out. But maybe I, I still have more, you know, uh, still leftover or anything. Uh, how, do you, how do you know it's a dream? I know, right? <laughs> now you're tricking me again. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've asked her down my body to get an implant for me arm. There you go. Don't know oh. how that implant got in there, though. That's annoying. I had to do, like, Spiritual surgery on my own bloody arm. Can you feel that? Yeah. It's not like the energy from Scotland, is it? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's strong in Scotland, yeah. yeah. I see you with a dragon. Do you know, I just said connect to your dragon in my head. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. her, her dragon is red and gold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but she's underwater with this dragon. Why are you underwater with it? Is that a, the... The water and fire dragon? Yeah, but you, and you're in the water with the dragon. Oh. You are with it. So you're, you can come in or out of the water. You always, you can do either. You can do air or water. Oh. Cool. So I'm on it. Oh. I don't know where your you this life is where I'm seeing you on the dragon. It looks just like you now though. I don't know whether this is a life that's parallel. Parallel lifetime. Maybe. Does I uh if I met my parallel, I mean my my one of my energy. <laughs> I've never seen that before where I can see you as the same person. I've never, that that's never been shown to me. Hmm. Well, um, well, my, my uh, guide, Sharina, she looks like me. That's what my brother said when she saw my guides and even the old man when, Serena was a gnome, and they said that she looks like me. But they told me I have also uh, uh, some en the same energy of me that are also incarnate in different countries. At the moment, <laughs> you, you can have 12. At the moment, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah you... And I'm going to meet her, and then I, I think I met her already. Right, your cards, by the way, remove the fuzziness in your brain in meditation and uh, 
you, something big ch- is going to be a change. Yeah, a change. What is, is a change? I don't know. <laughs> you you have intentions of changing your life. Yeah. Yeah, a big change. <laughs> and you you've got peace. So whatever you change is plans are changing. You still receive peace and happiness on the way, on your journey. Yeah. Wow, thank you. Okay. How many minutes is that? <laughs> Bet you back to right. She's uh, she paid, so she's fifteen minutes. All oh, right. <laughs> okay. So how many minutes is Fire. it? Iron water dragon. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, Deb, but when I actually was seeing that dragon, and the dragon was telling me to connect more, you need to connect with the dragon even more. That was oh, the yeah. message I was getting. That's the message I was getting. Yeah, they were still telling me. They mm. they told me that my my dragon is there's a fire and water that they can mm. do fire and they can do uh water and so they can also they can so it produces a steam. <laughs> I could see a baby dragon with it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> might be you might be getting another dragon, a baby one. Could be an emerald one, you never know. I didn't see the colour. I couldn't recognise the colour. The colour wasn't like on this planet colour. <laughs> so, so I can't describe a colour that I don't know what the colour is. Oh my god, that's so strong. My heart's crazy. <laughs> uh. Asure? Oh, the, 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 what you call the, yeah, yeah, the assassin. <laughs> it might, it might have been wow. the assassin Cree. <laughs> uh, oh, Asure dragon. Okay. No, the, as, as, yeah, yeah, the as, assassin Cree. It's great, great film, though. I love that film. Yeah. Things about memories, uh, not, uh, in, Asura, not in this Asura. life. So there's no more parasite on me then. (laughs) Oh, man. You're going to be getting a lot of downloads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it's it's my, my, my head is like a bubble. Like a, you know, like a, you're having a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting a lot too lately. <laughs> I wake up in the middle of them. I wonder if your dragon was from, was born from a fire dragon and a water dragon. That is so unusual. <laughs> so it's a, it's a fire why. dragon and a water dragon. That means, I wonder which one was the mother. His, his name is Demi Dash. Yeah. He said that his parents are both fire and water dragons and their parents were it's a general he said it goes back generations Mm -hmm. that's cool 
How are you feeling? Have you got any pain anywhere, by the way? Well, the only thing I, I'm I'm feeling is in my spine and my you know on my my chest. So I get mm. all those you know kind of warm energy, and my heart is tickles. Yeah. <laughs> That's the energy we're sending. <laughs> 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 and then my head was a as a bubble. <laughs> it's like a you know, like a has a helmet. Like you know, it feels like you have a helmet on it. But uh, yeah, it's, and and now I'm getting high up. <laughs> oh, thank you. As. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. That's simple. <laughs> that was good, Philip. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're bombarding me with your energy now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jillian is next. Jillian. Hello. 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 What do you want? <laughs> um, I want to have fun. What you want? You want that snake from before? <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of that thing. I guess, yeah, I feel okay. And um, the house is just so cleansed, I'm sure. And my lip is almost healed, so that's good. And I got a car, finally. Wow. It's a Subaru from the Palladians. And that's fantastic. I'm yeah. happy for you. Yeah. I'm so happy that you're not in my country. <laughs> I can always fly there. I've been there twice. Was that a, it was that a women's driver pun? Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just, I, you're scanning her. As you, as, oh, as you speak, you're scanning her. I'm getting information. He goes, are we going to do a scan? Yeah. You know, just do whatever you want to do. I just want to have a fun day. And that's that. I, um, there is a parasite right here, like this big, doing an S mark right in your head. Mm. I've never seen it there before. All right, newbie. <laughs> yeah. Have you been taking moringa? I'm out, but I'm going. I'm actually going to the store today to get some more powder. But I've been doing the Celtic salt and a little bit of smoking. <laughs> oh God! The moringa leaves, right? <laughs> the the <laughs> nicotine. <laughs> um, I keep forgetting to smoke, though. I'm not a good smoker. <laughs> Uh, so your support team is saying if you need any help they're there for you cool peace thank of, you peace of mind is within you and you you've got the power to make, make miracles so you can ask for miracles to the universe yeah sweet i call them in usually daily so thank you to the team hmm. And I'm sorry for whatever I did with nanotech in the past. 
I've learned. <laughs> Your team was, you know what they just did to me? They were behind you and they all went, present, 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 <laughs> present. Remember, cool. remember that nicotine doesn't dissolve nanotech. <laughs> you told me it does. <laughs> Joe, that's, 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 I'm on YouTube. I tried to start to smoke, but it didn't go well. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. For live on well, YouTube. I mean, I look. I really did look for like nicotine lotion because <laughs> I just want to put it on my lips, but I don't know. Oh, and I have Chris here too. Hopefully he's not the parasite, but he could be. You never know. Have you have you ever been taken by aliens? You might have told me you have. Do you think you have? I don't believe in aliens. You don't believe in aliens? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, I well, guess, yeah. I'm seeing aliens in your energy field, also. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if they're good or bad. They don't have a sticker to say I'm good. <laughs> they're probably all kinds of things. <sighs> Do I check the parasite? Grace. Hmm? Grace. Great. There's Grace. No. Hmm. I said the contact she's had. Oh, Grace. Probably a bunch of. You're no, you're I'm... not you're you're not the uh, queen of the greys, are you? <laughs> not right now. <laughs> no, I'm just a regular human, maybe. You're definitely not a regular human. No, <laughs> I'm just a normal human. No, <laughs> I'm the A word, right? Mm. Angel, alien, awesome. Right, got this. Got the parasite. <sighs> Is it good? All clean. Mm. I made a picture too. I'll I'll do a show and tell. I made one of the moon. Is that the cheesy moon? <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I made one a a bat and a moon. Very cool. Mm. And then I made Chris. I, so I used to make Chris Bibles. I made him a regular Bible. I made him a better Bible. And then I made him this one. The worst Bible. Right. Is that a Christian though? It's just, well, you got to have all the Bibles. You got to document mm. And it's got a tongue. It says, God hates mm. you. <laughs> okay. And he liked that. He smiled. But then I made him a love log because he made me a car log. And then I put snake lips in there. This way, this way everybody gets love, but yeah. <laughs> Got to keep it fun here, you know? Keep it interesting. You, you have improved over the years a lot. I remember when you first came. So. Yeah, thank you yeah. for sure. Yeah. I've been through a lot. Oh, my God. Definitely. I Definitely still don't know what happened. Yeah. Well, you're 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 the uh out of everyone I've ever done alien, you're the one that's I've killed the most aliens with. Yes. <laughs> and demons well. and whatever. And whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well thank you. It's been that quite is, a weird that is the truth. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see someday. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Right. Uh, do you mind not looking at Chris? Yeah, I can. All right. You don't mind looking at Abaddon? <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, how much longer do I got to, you know, deal with the destroyer? <laughs> I can feel he's got a parasite next to him. But... <laughs> Me? <laughs> Hi, Chris. Oh, uh, how you doing? Good. Okay. You feel really tired. Mm. There's something on his spine. Be tired too, keeping up with Jillian. <laughs> Rick just said you'd be tired too, keeping up with Jillian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Give him some extra spiritual dollars for that. <laughs> He's got a butterfly on his spine. It's not a real butterfly. It's a black, that black um implant. He's got an implant, Jillian. You you aren't keeping good tabs on him. <laughs> <laughs> How is he getting implants? Probably targeted because of Jillian. Yeah. No, I'm not being serious, though. I know. They normally target your, friend, your people near to you. You have to be exhausted. They're draining you. Can you feel that? Uh, maybe a little. Parasite's gone anyway. You might have felt that move. Oh. Oh. Your cards have already got a new pro project coming. Don't have any anger to anyone and forgive them. Remember that. And yeah, your prayers are being answered. So. Fantastic. Mm. All right. Anything, Deb? I've got rid of that parasite. I'm sure I have. Drink a lot of water. Energy stays with you for the next seven days. 
Jillian, keep up the good work. Archangel Michael said. Yay. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You're welcome. welcome. Is there anything we can do to remove implants? I've just done it. Yeah. I know, but frequent that frequency video gets rid of them. That that video that he made. Also, okay. you um you also have this uh halo above you that goes six foot. You know your whole auric field. You can that halo comes down. And it changes colors. It also removes implants and attachments and brings it back up. Changes colors. It Just... goes. It goes to red. It's dragon fire. That burns them out. It sounds like an abduction. <laughs> no, it's actually our own halos. We each okay. one has them. So activate the halo to get rid of implants. It's always mm -hmm. there. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Maynard is next, and last is Sunday. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Maynard. You're the one that sent huh? the email. Yes, I do. I'm trying to make contact. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, what just a general doing? general reading and just on health issues if there's anything that's not supposed to be. Okay. Right away I see kidney and bladder issues. Do you have cancer? No, not that I know of. Did you get the um that uh, thing that they were doing a few years ago when uh, there was that flu going around? Don't say it out loud, please. Did you get that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Did you get yeah. all three of them? I got two different ones. Okay. Do you want the stuff that's not for the eyes good taken out? Do you want the, the do you want the toxins from it removed? That anything for you not from eyes that, good. From that, do you want to do you want us to remove the toxins from it? Yes. Can you feel that energy? I do.
Yeah, I got shoulder aches. No. Some energy came from it, though. His intestines and his um, bladder and kidneys, his liver, his colon, all need healing. Yeah. I'll try and slow time to give you 15 minutes in five. You may feel like warm water going through your body slowly. You're going to feel an energy going into your heart muscle. And it, it, the energy is from creator. It's white diamond light. It's going into your heart muscle. muscle. When it comes out, it's going to be molten golden energy. So every time your heart beats, it is going to be pushing that blood through every organ in your body. And that's God's light going through your every organ, healing you. And your bloodstream. And it, so it's going to pump this energy through your body as your heart beats and in, in the healing all your blood going through your bloodstream healing your organs healing your muscles your tendons in the body so i want you to take a deep breath in through your nose slowly out through your mouth i want you to do it three times really deep into your stomach and blow it out and then you'll start feeling this warm water feeling going through your body Good, good, good. You feel the energy going through? Yes. You're gonna see. You may feel a vibration. That's Philip doing his energy. His is vibration, electrical, going through you as well. Oh, as is all sorts of energies. That's weird. Oh. drink lots of water this week mm -hmm. when you when you drink the water look at it and feel this uh, give it love energy so that you're drinking a loving energy bless your food before you eat it you must you must have moringa in africa the moringa tree <laughs> you get fresh moringa yeah. yeah that is so good for you. you and you know all about it <laughs> perfect, <laughs> yeah. perfect That's place it's very good for you. Yes. Yeah, the cards, by the way. Uh, you're losing some friends and gaining new ones. But it's got the same vibration as you. Uh, remember, you're an awesome being. Yeah. Don't overthink things. 
but you, you let your heart shine and your spiritual growth will come in. So, yeah. That was a lot of work done then, by the way. So, so <laughs> I would, I would, I would do a bit of a uh, bit of drinking, a lot of water, grounding, and barefoot uh -huh. in in soil if you can. There, I'm not sure if you. Got Everyone that had, had healing. It's seven for the next seven days. This continues. All this healing stays with you. Just keep drinking lots of water. Um, Margaret, is there anyone else left? Cindy, I think. Thank you very much, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's good yes. to see you. Good to meet you. The last yeah. one is Cindy. Okay. Cindy. She's... Did we lose her? I can still see the... There she is. Cindy. Wake up. There you are. Yeah. Are you on mute? It doesn't look mute. That's a bit weird. There you are. Oh, can't hear. Can't hear you. Can't you read a mind, Deb? <laughs> we might not be the end of them. I don't think a voice is, uh, is connected. Can you hear us? Just nod your head up or down. Mm -hmm. She can hear us, but we can't hear her. Do you want healing? Yeah, healing. Channel message. I could hear her a little bit then. You could read her lips. That's what you no, can No, no, I could hear her. Huh. It's Maybe a bit of fine. sound. Try lifting your volume up, yeah. Noel, I guess Noel, we'll get we'll get you. Did do you think she didn't join with the speaker when she came in? Uh, it shows that her phone has speaker. I mean, it's got all these lines on it, doesn't it? Mm. Is there a mute button on there? It's mute now. It won't be cool. But sometimes you got to press join with speaker. Yeah, it it shows you muted. There, it's unmuted. Now, now you mute it again. Unmute. Yep. Now it's unmuted. No, still can't hear you. Cindy, do you want to go out and come back in? Make sure you hit the audio button, okay? Hit, hit the audio button when you come in. I can hear a little bit, tiny bit. I don't hear anything. Yeah, I've been on Moringa longer, though. Um, Noel, Margaret, Noel said she was in. That was here, but under a different name. Uh, I have been going down the line, so. Okay. 
but go ahead and uh Noel, let's go with Noel. Noel. Yeah, Noel's just come on. Are you coming on or not? Hi. Hey. Yeah, it's so weird. I've had computer troubles, internet troubles, and two computers, not the same thing. <laughs> it's incredible. Anyway. What can we do Here for you today? Uh well uh, you know, I really, I really have two problems lately. It's uh, fading memory. I mean, it's ridiculous, and I don't think I'm Alzheimer or anything. But I think I'm so sc scattered that my brain is so full. And um, well, the the financial problem is huge. And I don't know what's been going on lately. I've had not fights, but very unpleasant conversation with a lot of people that are very much frustrating me. So I don't know. The common yeah. denominator is me, right? Yeah, lion's mane t tends to help the brain when you've got problems like that. Lion's mane mushrooms. Yeah, it's a, you can get it in a vet in a in a um like a vitamin form. It's called lion's mane. It helps you. I take it. I'm seventy, so it helps me because <laughs> I can get scattered brain. But I can. But I always tend to do like I'll three or four things at once and think I can still, still do that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, well, but... yeah, I, I have taken it for a while. It's a while I haven't taken it. I didn't mm -hmm. notice the difference. Maybe uh, but... it was not strong enough or something. We also have some really heavy energies that, that are hitting Earth. And it, sometimes it irritates people. And sometimes it, uh, it, it hits people, all, everybody differently. So, and... You have to just kind of breathe through it and ground yourself a lot. I bought a grounding pad that I sleep on now, and I'm telling you, it has changed my life. I really love it. Um, and it's like $29 on Amazon. Um, and I really, really highly recommend it. Um, like, like earthing? It, it, it's, a, it's like a rubberized mat, and it has a little cord that you plug into the grounding plug yeah on yeah the earthing i have a small one in my bed yeah. but I, I you know i i just highly recommend it i I really it has changed my sleep it's changed everything for me um i i love having i i sleep better um i i also dream and i never used to dream or i remember dreams or i never used to uh and going outside if, as often as possible and walking in the grass if you can with your bare feet <laughs> no oh here we have i think you call that noisum something like that T tiny bugs that bite you it's more painful than mosquitoes and they're hiding in the no cms no cms no see yeah it's horrible Oh, where are you? Uh, close to Montreal. I've never seen that in oh. my life, but here it is. It's it's unbearable. Because uh, they, they used to have them here in Florida. Yeah, that's oh. how I learned that word, talking with someone in, in Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, I've ne never seen that before, but it's, it's unbearable. Yeah. Can't even stay on the deck. Oh, we have a head. Yeah, they are pretty bad. Oh, definitely the grounding pad, then that would help you a lot. I feel, I feel that I'm kind of too open to the energies of the world. I don't know. Because really when things happen, like uh, the hurricane, I feel almost as if I'm there. You're, you're an empath. Yeah, well, that I'm Beth, like to to Earth or to tribes of people. I don't know. You may feel the energies. Maybe you feel the people that have drowned. Maybe you feel their uh, the children that have been lost and drowned. Uh, you feel you, is it emotional? Well, I think I feel more of the, the survivors because I'm getting really angry lately. Mm. Um, anger doesn't help though. Just makes yeah, it worse. Anger doesn't help. Um, I 
I got frustrated. I was just there a couple months ago, my husband and I, my brother lives there. My, my nieces live there. His brother and his wife were trapped there. They just got home um, in that area. We visited, uh, we went to a crystal store in the area where it was totally wiped out. And I tried calling the couple that we sat and talked to. And it's right where uh, the purest crystals, quartz crystals are in the world. And, you know, you're hearing the stories about the, that's where, you know, that and other. And I, and I don't believe it's natural, which is another reason to be angry. Well, yes. And I, I know it's not natural. We, we, you know, <laughs> The, the other the other thing which i understand a lot of people have died but the other thing instead of getting angry think of how many people are actually waking up in the world because they know it, it it's manipulation is yes. every time they manipulate us there's more people waking up and exactly. that's the positive side of it yeah right. there is a positive side to it yeah, but I'm, I'm just talking about an empathic way, like I, I'm aroused by things and it feels to me that I'm I'm linked with the angry people in the world that I've been living through hell, mostly if they believe it's not natural, so they got to be angry. Yeah. But don't don't link with the ones that are angry. You want yeah, to... but I, how, how do you unlink? Uh, I mean, I, I didn't do it I on know purpose. It's, I know it's manipulated, but I'm not angry about it. Um, I, I was actually posting all that, and my niece and my brother and all the people who live there calling me conspiracy theorists. Well, it's it's actually observers and analysts. It's not theorists, but that's something else. So, it, it, if, if you if you connect to these beings send them love yes yeah I, actually when I, when i was when i was a child i found myself hypnotizing myself repeating rockefeller i love you and as a french a child how in the world did i know that name i couldn't know that name right, and certainly right. not that there was a e rockefeller you know right. So yes, I know I have to send them love. What, what I'm saying is that I I feel bouts of anger with small things, and I think it's because I'm linked to the people in the world who, who have to suffer. So I don't well, I, I didn't uh, do it on purpose, and I don't know how to stop that. I mean, I try to cut cords, but well, uh, a few weeks ago I tried to link up to these beings, and I sent them white light codes. <laughs> Yeah, so I actually sent these people who manipulate the world uh, white light codes, which hopefully they'll wake up and turn to our side. <laughs> so. Yeah, I didn't think it could help me with my uh, everyday anger, maybe. Mm. You just got to not think of it as anger. Yeah. Breathe through it and... and, um, and reverse it that you know get send love to your anger and maybe when if you send love to your anger it will send love to that their anger send love to yourself first no, i didn't think about sending love to my anger last time i saw you in january you told me that i had um entity with me so he's gone now there's nothing it was apparently draining me yeah, we would have got rid of it then. Yeah. We wouldn't let you go without getting rid of it. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but I'm good to attract them. So with everybody dying yeah. right now, I might have others. Well, the, the empath draws in uh, pain and suffering and stuff like that. So you can draw in entities. So, But you haven't at the moment. You're clean at the moment. Thank you. And try and go into your heart space and not into this the head space of the, the the ego mind that that thinks about all of the bad stuff. And that's well, like, where people are right now. They're thinking in the head and, and go into the heart. What the cards are saying is have a break on your journey, a retreat. Right? Retreat, yeah. break on your journey. 
set an intention, set a goal. Yeah. And trust the information that you get back from this intention. Yeah. That's quite funny. I, th I thought it was good. Very good cards. Very good word. Cards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm working on those. Yeah. Try not be so negative in mindset. Remember, you might be getting played deliberately to lower your vibration. Uh, so negative thoughts, negative feeling, you know, I understand that it feels like the dark ones are winning and stuff like that and they're manipulating everything and doing like that. But it's it's a war basically and you've got to be positive. You don't want to go you don't want to be like them. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is that the more I try, the more I have people around, you know, really doing everything they can to arouse me. It's really weird. Mm. To send love back to we don't like that love uh, energy. Yeah, you're probably being targeted a bit. You gotta just learn that energy when you feel the uh, energy, just ground it or use the frequency video that I put on here earlier. Yeah. Uh. Well, I, 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 was, I was in a weird place because I it, it's not the Zoom channel, yet it's Zoom. I don't understand. Mm. And it's re I, I was wondering if I was listening to an old one, but it's written streaming. So it, <laughs> I really don't get it. So if you can please put it again in the chat. I yeah. don't have that. There was a... There was a Things, that's pretty much all I got. <laughs> yeah, your sound was going on. Okay. It's there. Yeah, I've got, I've, I can see it there. I said dot. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, it's there. Well, I just see a dot. It's probably you weren't in at 22, right? Thought it would have gone. Yeah, well, it was somewhere else. I don't, I don't yeah. understand. No, above the dot is the YouTube. Link. No, I, I, I have nothing but a dot. Sweet message sent before you joined the meeting, even though I was on the other one. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know that way open. Can you hear that? Hey, what? I don't know where that's opened. <laughs> so. Where's that opened? Sorry. <laughs> Did anyone hear that then, or yeah. not? Yeah, I forgot it's not linked. I was getting the video thing again. How come I can see it and nobody else can? It might be because uh, the link, if she's coming later, it might not be there on the system, if you get what I mean. Yeah. It'll be on mine. It's like when you're in a group and you share something, but you won't get the. Yeah, but uh, she's she's there now, so it should be now that everybody sees it. All right, it's on now. You see it now. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. And also, uh, in the oh. in the ritual prayer is a. Uh... One eleven eleven. <laughs> yeah. It's a ritual prayer, but uh, when did you receive that? You didn't receive it at 11-11, did you? 
Is a ritual prayer on the YouTube that uh, makes you a sovereign being, and any codes that you got of cords, you cut them, you can cut them. Right. What, so, on, on your website? On the YouTube one. Yeah. It's called so sovereign code. Hmm. It's, it's called the, sovereign code. Yeah, it's a ritual. No, it's a ritual prayer right near the same time as that, and that basically makes you a sovereign being, and anything that's not for the eye is good. You can cut away. Yeah, that one there, by the way, it's an hour and eleven minutes, <laughs> and it's it's not it's not the nicest music you could ever listen to. <laughs> but it's not meant to do that. It's meant to heal you and get rid of any dark energies and beings that are around you. <laughs> Yeah. 200 frequencies in that video so not a five minute job <laughs> thank you thank you All right. right Cindy hmm. oh. Oh, by, by the way at the end I'll use my crystal bowl to close it and any energies that are not Good, it'll siphon away. You're on mute, by the way. Still on mute. Excuse me. Still on mute. No, you're on mute, honey. Still can't hear me. Nope, still can't hear you. Should we just give Aileen in a scan? Mm. I have a message from your husband. What is he saying? Oh, you're there. I hear you. <laughs> what do you do? He's, he wants to know if you've felt him lately because he's been near you a lot. He wants to know if you've felt his presence. Yes, almost daily. He says that he is so happy that you're settled, that, you know, that you're, that you're, you're in, you're doing this on your own and he's really happy. He's so proud of you. I thank him so much for being here with me. He said, I'm not leaving you. I'm with you. I'm with oh. you. I'm, I got your back. I'm with you. I love you. I know you miss me. I, I, he said, but you're doing a great job. Good. He says, 
I know you're happy right now that things are settled, that you're doing okay. And that's, you know, but he says things are going to get even better. Good. Things are going to get even better. Have faith in yourself. Have to know that you're going to be okay. That is so awesome to hear from him. I've been so depressed lately. <laughs> but I try to keep my spirits up and stay positive. He said, you, don't, don't you know how strong you are, how great you are? He said, there's nothing to worry about. Stop worrying about things. You are unbeatable. Stop. He's saying, I'm with you. I, I, I just know I'm there. I'm not leaving your side. I'll be with you through all of this. That is so wonderful. He says, I love you so much. Would you like to see a picture of him? Sure. <laughs> oh. Denny. <laughs> he, yeah, he is pretty. It's so funny. funny. I thought he was saying Debbie. I was like, I thought he was calling me. He was saying Denny the whole time. <laughs> He was saying his name, and I thought he was trying to say Debbie. Denny. Yeah, it's Dennis. Denny. De yeah, it's Dennis. Yeah. Yep. A lot of people called him Denny for short. Yeah. Especially to piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> good looking guy. Very good. My looking. total twin flame. My total soulmate. Yeah. Well, he's with you, so everything's going to be all right, he said. Just don't get depressed. And I heard about the uh, the thing that Phil sent out for removing the negative energies and also the Marengo. Marenga. 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 Because I really have been fighting my depression so hard the last couple of months. Yeah. He, he said there's no reason to be depressed. No reason. We are, we are the only, we are the guardians of ourselves. We have, we're the only ones that can make ourselves happy. It's all up to us. Yep. Nobody else can make us happy. No one person. We, it's up to us. So we have to get ourselves out of it. Don't sit in the house and be depressed. Get out in the sunshine and be, and count your blessings every day. There's always something to be thankful for. Oh. Yes. Yeah. You feel like you're in prison. You've got the keys to get out of that prison. Okay. That's what okay. that card means. By connecting to your inner child, that will help big time. And by connecting to your inner child, it will help and you'll get messages from the spirit world. You just need to listen. Don't overthink. There you go. Okay, I will do that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I love you guys. I love you too, honey. We do. And you too sitting back there, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many years since he went to the spirit world? Um, 12 oh. years. Yeah, my, my wife went 10, 10 years ago. I'm sorry to hear that, but but yeah. I try to tell other people when they're they're like I can't talk to them, and I preach or I try not to preach to people, but I tell them talk out loud to them. They will hear you. They are the minute you call their name, they're right there with you. You mm. bring them. You bring them to you when you speak their names and honor them. Yes, you do. Mm. As soon as Rick starts talking about his dad, he comes here. <laughs> yep. Same thing about his mom and his sister. You know, they they they're they're here. And as as well, I, I won't I won't talk about my mother in law then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I would do without my spirit guides and my ancestors they've helped me through so many things yeah same here same mm. here so true all right all right We're done.
Anybody else? Have we missed anyone? Oh, thank you. You're welcome, honey. We missed my bowl. Okay. Oh, that's right. To ground everyone, yeah. So, one, two, three. Seems we've gotten everybody, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank and you. the people in YouTube, I am sorry. I it's, it's a live transmission, but you have to be in the room here for you to get any healing. Um, I tried to post the link, but uh, I wasn't able to. I don't know why it wouldn't let me enter. Hit enter. Yeah. People were in there trying to sessions, and I didn't see it until now. Thank you so much, Margaret, for your help today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Isn't it beautiful, that? Yes. All right, there's me dong. Uh, I don't know where the other ones go. Here you go. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Hope oh, oh, you enjoyed that. Back next month for another Thanks. session. Good night. God bless Thank you. Thank you so much. Here, everyone. Appreciate, appreciate all your work. Love, Love you. Bye. Love you Thank all. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.